G'day, Alistair here from LearnDelphi.tv. In this video, we're going to talk about logging. Now, you may feel the urge to write your own logging framework, but uh, resist that and instead use one of the uh, many logging um, frameworks available. Um, you know, if you're, if you're wanting a commercial product, then CodeSite or Smart Inspect uh, perfectly good. Uh, free things, um, free logging. Uh, we're going to look at Logger, Logger, Quick Logger, but Logger Pro is another one. Um, and we'll, we'll look at Quick Logger because it's installable through the Git Package Manager. And so there it is. I've already installed it. And uh, one of the example projects is Multi Logger, which we're going to ignore, but I'm going to copy, some paste, copy and paste some code out of it. So uh, what it's doing there, that's better. Okay, so I'm going to add a new project, a VCL project. And add a couple of buttons. And we want to add logging to this highly sophisticated uh, user interface that I have just created. Um, so we need to initialize the logging. And I'm going to do that in the main project file. So if I come down to the multi-logger example, and I'm going to go grab the file logger. Okay, now we need to add a couple of units. One is quick logger. Now there is a, a provider, and there are lots of providers. Um, we are going to be interested in the file provider, which is what we're initializing here. Um, we create a, a unique file name. Um, this is creating it, we'll probably created in the exe folder, so um, <laughs> which will not work in production. Hopefully, it won't work in production because you won't have right access to your um, program files folder. But um, yeah, so one, one of the reasons to not write your own, as you can see, we've already got a whole bunch of functionality, including limiting the maximum size of the log file and being able to rotate the log files. Uh, in which case, you set to three, you might want to set it to more. Maybe you want the log file to be 500 megabytes. It, it depends on um, what you're logging. But we're only going to do a, a few lines, so this is fine. And so our first logging message. Um, dot info um, and because I'm from New Zealand I'm going to use the correct spelling of initialized and action finished terminated kind of sounds like it um failed in some way or was 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 terminated but um finished is a nice nice friendly way of saying that the application exited now we're going to add some logging here so we need to first use use quick logger and and our button click And as, as with a lot of these logging um, mechanisms, libraries, we have a lot of different levels of logging. Uh, you have info, debug, warning, etc. Critical. Um, so a whole, whole bunch of uh, various options. I'm just going to use info. And you just need to be careful that in your, oops, in here, we see that logging all. It's got a whole bunch of things, including errors and what have you. This and info, I was a bit blind, but it doesn't include debug, for instance. So if I did debug there rather than info, that wouldn't get recorded. So we're going to call info, and I'm going to say sent s clicked. And we write as a kind of standard format string type. Uh, routine and as to 
component dot name. Okay, and we'll in the on click. Okay, so we've got button one click everywhere. Okay, that should be our logging working, so we can run that. I can click on a bunch of things and well, I might as well quit as well and then we'll go and have a look in uh, show an explorer and right at the top is our and there's our log file and we see we've got logging initialized button one clicked a lot I haven't got any button two clicks that probably means I've probably failed to hook up that event uh, but anyhow, let's let's go let's do that. Oh no. Maybe I didn't click on button two. Okay. So we want to add some more logging or more another logging provider. So I am going to go to the project file and copy and paste this. Let's duplicate it. Now I'm gonna add syslog as a logging provider uh, dot syslog and this becomes global syslog provider now I really don't like using the with statement but um, we'll, we'll just go with it because it's what uh... okay and that should be all we need now in the uh, global syslog provider we see there it has a, a host and port but if we look at create it's using localhost and the correct syslog port so um, that's all fine we could set that to another machine uh, and that all works um, just fine so sys sys syslog is a unix protocol for um, writing log messages over a network and it uses uh, udp to do that so it means um, the server doesn't have to be present. You won't get any errors if there's no server. It'll all just work and the packets will get lost on the network. Uh, it won't get delivered anywhere, I think. <laughs> I'm not a networking expert. Um, anyway, so let's have a quick look. Um, so if I got a let. So this should be good. And now we need a syslog server. And I've got this visual syslog server. And we can start that afresh. And run our application again and there we have our logging initialized we have a button one click button two click and a form click and lots of clicks and we'll get our application finished so that's using a third party I mean that one's free syslog server we can write our own so if we look in the syslog provider, we'll see that it is using a TID syslog. And that's the client. And we can create a new project. Um, Windows VCL application. We can have a syslog server. And I want a memo. Oops, pull that in the thing. Align client and um, let's set this active true. And in the events, on syslog. And we want to include our message. Dot. Um, text uh, oh content I don't know what content is we can try that I haven't, I haven't played around with this a huge amount I've been using text but we'll try content now um, also I don't know if this is asynchronous I presume it is it's indeed um, so that probably means that technically we need to call synchronize
and I wonder if I can just reformat that. Yep. Okay. But except I like that um, to match, you know, to line up with um, that one. Personal preference. Anyway, that should be enough for our logging server. Let's see if that works. And I might have to change that to uh, text rather than content. But. Okay. Got logging initialized. We've got some clicks. Application, application finished. So, um, yes, that's that's our <laughs> that was a a very complicated task writing our own server. Um, you of course can only have one server listening on the port, and you could output this. Um, you could generate more than one provider. You'd have to not use the uh, you know the global global variables, which is another thing I'm not entirely comfortable about using, but it is convenient uh, for the purpose of this demonstration. So um, that's using QuickLogger very briefly. Um, obviously a lot more to it, and there's obviously a lot more providers that you can take advantage of. And a lot of like commercial logging servers will support uh, syslog, so um, you can uh, take advantage of that. So thanks for watching. Um, other things, so things that I'm uneasy about is obviously the with statement, the use of global variables, uh, which is kind of okay in the, in the, the case of logging. Uh, but I would also add this, I'd add the logging into a wrapper, so I'd have my own interface for logging. And then I could, you know, if I want, wanted to swap, swap to Logger Pro or Code Site or something like that. I could do that, or I could add a code site provider for um, Quick Logger. Uh, there's, there's lots of options. Uh, so thanks for watching. Support the channel by liking and like, liking and subscribing, and go to learndelphi.tv and buy one of my books, or both of them, preferably. Uh, <laughs> so uh, I hope that you found this useful. I'm Alistair Christie, and I'll see you in the next video.